It was fall on the island of Sodor. The leaves started to change colors and fall off the trees. One day, Gordon the Big Engine was pulling the express. Just then, Gordon heard something snap. What was that? We'll have to stop, Gordon. We lost a coach. Gordon stopped. And he went back. He was very embarrassed. The driver and fireman inspected the damage. Bad news, old boy, said the driver. The coupling broke. But we'll be able to mend it with newspaper and a leather boot lace, said the fireman. Gordon was horrified. No, no, he pleaded. Can't you just call Edward? Sorry, old fella, said the fireman. We can't find a telephone booth. Meanwhile, a very impatient Henry was waiting for Gordon to clear the line. At last, Gordon had arrived. He had been going slowly for the coupling wouldn't break again. What took you so long? Henry snapped. Fastest and best, my tender. Then he saw the coach's coupling, and he laughed and laughed. What's so funny, Henry? said James. Look what Gordon's got. James looked back at Gordon's coach. James laughed so hard he thought his boiler would burst. Gordon had had enough. Once Gordon got home that night, all he wanted was some peace and quiet. But the other engines wouldn't give it to him. Hello, Gordon, said James. Do you have enough boat laces for tomorrow? Teased Duck. How many engines have you told? James and I told all of them. All of them? Well, Gordon, that is what it felt for me all those years ago. Gordon remembered the constant teasing James got many years ago after an incident with bootlaces. Well, you deserved it, said Gordon. I didn't deserve it. You deserve it. I did not deserve it. Both of you, please, said Edward. I am trying to get some sleep. As was I, Edward, said Gordon. Good night. The next day, James was banging his coaches. Gordon thinks he's better than me. I'll show him. James had banged the coaches so hard that he broke some of the couplers, but he didn't know that. Soon, James was cruising along the line. He was going really fast. Slow down, James, called his driver. This isn't the express. James was determined to prove his driver wrong. Then there was trouble. The coaches rolled away. We're out of control, called James's driver. James tried to stop, but his driver and fireman had already jumped clear. Help! A quick thinking signalman had diverted him onto another line. But there was worse to come. Titmouth Sheds was up ahead. Sir Topham Hatt was very cross when he saw Gordon and James. You two sure have caused a lot of damage, he said sternly. James will need repairs, as well as coaches, as well as Titmouth sheds. But where will we sleep, sir? asked Edward frantically. I don't know, sighed Sir Topham Hatt. Gordon, please take James to the works. Yes, sir, said Gordon, and they set off. The journey to the works was quiet.
James noticed all the brightly colored leaves on the trees. This is lovely, said James. It's beautiful, added Gordon.